what's up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a different kind of video because i just needed like a little bit of an outlet and every time i have worn this makeup look i have gotten shit loads of requests for tutorials and y'all know i don't really do makeup on this channel but i had to get ready anyway i had to get myself together today and i figured why not just turn on the camera this is a really simple like clean girl aesthetic makeup look um very i don't know just like healthy skin glossy lips simple eye um all of this is really simple there aren't a lot of products involved so yeah if you are interested in seeing how i get this quick like 20 to 30 minutes or less makeup look then just keep on watching all right let's go ahead and hop right in so we got to start with skin prep this is my favorite moisturizer to use under makeup this is the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic cream and it leaves my skin feeling so great and it works under all of my makeup products every foundation every primer so i always start off with this because you want to start off with good skin prep and then i'm just going in with a lip mask this is the one from lawless beauty so let's go ahead and tackle brows I have been using the shade Walzana from my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette to fill in my brows. Um, for a while, I've just been really, really lazy with shopping at Sephora. I kind of had a little bit of a falling out with Sephora, um, and I had kind of stopped shopping from there, so I was just kind of using what I had. Um, and this color matches my brows perfectly, so I'm just taking a double-ended brush, and I'm just lightly filling in my brows with that eyeshadow shade. Um, this makeup look takes a lot less time if you just use a regular brow pencil, fill it in, and then set them, but, um, I kind of do a two-step situation, so I'm just going in and filling in my brows. And then to set, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Brow Fixer, and this is in the shade medium brown and i'm using this to set the brows and it also is a little bit lighter than the eyeshadow shade that i use so it just adds a little bit more dimension but this stuff literally makes your brows waterproof but it doesn't make them feel crazy so now i'm going in with some primer i'm going in with the milk hydro grip i wanted this look to be really nice and glowy and skin like so i'm making sure that i use a primer that follows suit with that and then we're going to go ahead and color correct. I am using the Colfi Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade Cherry Pick. I think this is their luminous or like hydrating concealer. This has a really nice like orangey red undertone to it. So it's perfect for covering up my dark circles and my dark marks. So I'm just concealing anything that I don't want to peek through. And I'm just going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender. And I always make sure to color correct. If you struggle with the color of your foundation, color correcting is a game changer. And then onto foundation, I'm using a couple of pumps of my Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I am in the shade Medium Deep 22. And I'm just going in and really focusing this on the areas where I have not really color corrected. I don't want to layer too much on, just a, a nice light layer. This is really great because it's really thin, um, but it also adds a really nice glowy coverage. It's very skin-like. And then to add some brightness, I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade Golden. I'm just adding this underneath the eyes, right in that corner, and then on the outer edge. And then I'm going to add a little bit to the middle of my forehead and the bridge of my nose, just places where I want to catch the light and bring out some dimension in my face. And then I'm just going to blend that in lightly with my Beauty Blender. And if you want a little bit more coverage, you can just let your concealer dry down a little bit longer and you'll get a little bit more coverage out of it. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. 
in the shade medium deep this powder is so nice um, and I'm just gently pressing that into the product I tap off the excess on my hand and then I go in and set whatever areas I want to set And I always do the bridge of my nose last. I like to let that set a little bit more just so the product doesn't spread too far across my nose and I can keep the application exactly where I put it. And then I'm gonna go over my eyes real quick. I'm gonna set those down. I do have oily lids. That'll just make it easier for me to blend in my eye color. And then I am going to set the rest of my face with my Estee Lauder Double Wear setting powder. I believe I'm in the shade 5W2. Um, this is one of my favorite powders. I have several backups of the older version, but it is it does come in a different compact now. Alrighty, so now we're going to do eyes, and I'm going to be using my bronzing shade for this step. So I'm just taking my bronzer, and I am lightly fluffing that up into my crease and my mobile lid area. So I'm really going to be taking this just about everywhere except for that um, lower lid part right above my lash line. And I also take this on my lower lash line as well. I'm just gonna feather that out really, really well. When I'm gonna rush y'all, bronzer as my eyeshadow is the way to go. This is usually the look that I do if I'm going out and I don't want to take anything too seriously. Cause I can just pop this on. If I want a little bit of shimmer, I can throw on a little bit of shimmer or I can just leave it matte. And for this look today, I'm going to be leaving it matte. And my favorite trick to do is once I've kind of filled in where I want the bronzer to go on my eyes, I'll go back in with my Fit Me setting powder and I will kind of just dust that over my lid area and that just makes the eye look super smooth and creamy and it just adds a little bit of brightness and creates depth that I didn't think that I would get but this is like my favorite way to do my eyeshadow these days. And now I'm going to go in and use the bronzer on the rest of my face. I'm using the Color Rain bronzer in the shade Cinebe and I'm using their large bronzing brush to apply. And I also like to go right there um, into my nose. I don't like to do a real nose contour. I just like to do it right there in my orbital bone. And it just brings out so much shape and definition to my face. All right, and then going back to the Warrior 2 palette, I'm just going to take the shade Dara and I'm going to dust that all over my face. I like to use these middle shades, the pink the orange and the red as blush shades. They do so well as blush. I have tons of blush, blush in my collection, but these are great in a pinch. So it's just like a one palette look really. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with some Urban Decay All Nighter, and I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry down before we move on. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Eye Pen. This is in their brown shade. This is a really nice, super thin and precise um, brush tip pen but i will say after the first few uses it is a bit of a struggle getting this on the eye and getting it to deposit color really well when you first open it it applies beautifully like the pigment is strong but eventually it does kind of get a little gunky so heads up if you do plan on like picking this up and trying it out it's not my favorite formula but it's really pretty and today I'm going for a little bit more glam. So I'm going to be prepping my lashes with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I believe this is also in their brown shade. Um, and then I'm going to apply some House of Lashes Iconic Light Lashes after I finish applying my mascara. And also make sure and get those baby bottom lashes too. All right, so lashes are on. I changed my shirt and now we're gonna finish off with lips. I'm going in with the KVD Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Crucifix. This is one of my favorite dark brown colors. I have several backups of this. It is beautiful. I'm just going to apply that and then tap that in with my finger to blend out the color. 
And then on top of that, I'm going in with the Scentii Gloss Balm in the shade Chocolate. This is the original formula. This is not the heat version. All right, and then I'm just going to go in and take down my hair. I think I have a video on this. This was my wash and go, my throwback wash and go with the Pomegranate Pear Collection. I'm just taking down um, my bands, <laughs> my banding, um, and then I'm going to go in and just pick out my hair lightly. I'm going to add some of my Adra Beauty Blue Tansy Oil, and I'm just going to go in and pick the hell out of my hair. Um, <laughs> I just use my wide tooth comb to pick my hair out. Um, I, I don't have a pick anymore. Don't ask me where it is. I don't know. So I just use what I got. <laughs> and I will have this video linked um, in the cards. I'm pretty sure I did a video on it. I'm almost positive. <laughs> I'm just laying down my edges with some TGI and edge control. And that's the finished look. Y'all know I have to top off every look with a good fragrance, MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold. And that's the look. It's really glowy, soft, simple, and elevated with the lashes, but you can make this as casual as you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more like them in the future. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Yeah. Selfish, just being honest now. Yeah, messy and reckless. Yeah, I do not know.